What is going on guys? Dr. D here from One Hive Invicta bringing you a war recap from a recent random spin that we had. Uh, this war we matched up with YOLO Mode who is a mixed uh, FP war clan. A uh, great group, group of guys over there. They really gave us a run for our money. Some very, very hard Town Hall 9s. I think that we had the lowest Town Hall 9 clearance rate uh, at least for, for fresh triples that we've, we've had in a very long time. So props to the base building team over there. Uh, you guys are doing something right. Um, anyway, uh, we had uh, five uh, six-packs this war. Uh, Big D, Bologna, Adam, Laz, and MP. We're going to see attacks from several of those people, but uh, without any further ado, let's get into this and check out the war statistics. So uh, there you can see the basic war statistics, um, 84 to 82. They had a bit higher percent than we did, 1% uh, higher. Uh, we each put up 24 uh, three stars. Um, we had uh, six two stars. They left two uh, one star bases on our side. Uh, both of those were Town Hall 11s. The breakdown was actually exactly the same. We had five Town Hall 11s on both sides, even numbers of Town Hall 10s. Um, Town Hall 9 started uh, right here with number 12 and also uh, right here with number 12 on our side with Mitch. Um, okay, so uh, without any further ado, let's get into the text. Uh, we're going to start actually at the top here and we are going to look at... Where is it here? There we go. Um, Armor Queen, who is uh, Chad in 2.0, and this is his 10. And so you're going to see over here he's going to start making his funnel. Um, and then he's going to bring the queen in. He's going to do a bit of a queen charge working her way up along here. Um, I'll speed it up just a little bit. Uh, throws a baby drag down and then a, a couple of loons just to knock out that um, archer tower and start setting a funnel so that the queen will go north or go towards the, the 12 o'clock. Um, queen is in. Slow this down. Um, funnel has been set up on the top side there as well. And Queen is going to do quite a bit of work here. Uh, gets the CC pull. Let's speed it up just a little bit here. And notice that down on the bottom, we're starting to get some archers working on the uh, um, town hall. And uh, does the same thing over here, dropping a single um, baby dragon and a couple of loons. Uh, King comes in, and he brings a P.E.K.K.A. and two Giants. Now, this was an interesting choice, and the, the attack actually went exactly like he planned. It was, it was really, it's really a pretty impressive attack. So, uh, King is in, Queen is in, uh, or I mean, uh, P.E.K.K.A. is in, and the healers have switched over to that Max P.E.K.K.A. now, um, starting to bring in uh, Baby Dragons along the bottom, to clean up here and just a really really beautiful attack um, note not a single hound is used in this air attack queen just about gets that queen not quite but she's gonna take a shot at a baby dragon who's gonna finish her off real quick and that is it um, Drops those last two baby dragons, trying to keep them spread enough so that they will stay enraged as they move over to these uh, last couple of defenses. Unfortunately, one goes down, um, but as soon as that baby dragon goes down, the other one gets enraged, uh, pops those skellies, takes out that inferno tower, and that is it. It is tree stars in the bag. Very nice job, Chad. One of the cooler Town Hall 10 triples I've seen in a long time. All right, let's move down here and let's check out Laz. So Laz had a six-pack this war. Um, he's coming in here with dragons. He's going to start by zap quaking the um, bottom air defense. Now, when you're when you're thinking about how am I going to do um, a dragon attack, uh, something to keep in mind is when you're setting your funnel for your dragons and you're fi you're, you're picking your entry. Um, a good bet is to pick an entry that does not uh, have a lot of high HP buildings. Notice all these high HP buildings down here. Well, if he can push through this whole base, then he can knock those things out last and 
doesn't have to get beat up in the process. Uh, up here, notice um, he had brought his king and some wizards, and the king tanked while the wizards took out an air defense there. Queen took out an air defense over here. Uh, finally, that queen goes down with the CC. It doesn't matter. CC is not an issue for dragons. He set a very nice funnel for his dragons, able to use two spells for the drags, two rage spells. They push right through stuff. Um, gets that hound in and gets those loons in really early on that hound. And that hound lives for a long time throughout this raid. So uh, hound winds up tanking and in fact, I believe he keeps at least one loon until the last defense or maybe the second to the last defense. Um, the, uh, the, that, <laughs> that loon is just a killer. Um, still has one, two, three, four, five, five drags up. Uh, going to lose one here in a second, um, but I believe that this uh, Loon and Hound are going to knock out these last three defenses, or at least they get two of them. Maybe maybe this last defense doesn't actually get popped out. See what happens here. Uh, drag is right there, taking out the King. Yeah, this, this Loon doesn't make it, but that's it. There's one defense left. One, two, three, four uh, Dragons left, and that is it. It is GG, Tree Stars in the bag. Nice job, Laz. Very cool attack. All right. Let's have a look at Big D. So Big D is coming with a Bolalo. Uh, I think a lot of people, um, you know, Bolalo has become a very popular attack strategy. Uh, it's very, very effective. Um, I feel like it's more effective on these kind of compact bases. Uh, if you get bases that are too spread out, your bowlers will scatter in those first portions of the base, um, and, and that just causes all kinds of issues. So uh, he set a very nice funnel here. Um, golems are in. Uh, poison is down on that queen. Throws a heal down right there on those... Um, right on the on top of the bowlers and, and on top of the queen. Uh, the CC gets met uh, with a poison spell, and the bowlers stay under heal while the CC is there. Works out beautifully. There goes that air defense. Now you'll notice he's got an air defense here and an air defense here. And the, the nice thing is the whole bottom half of this base, or right half of this base, I guess, has been cleared out. So at this point, it's really super easy loon pathing straight from the top all the way down to the bottom. Um, and he's got himself several haste spells to help out. So it's a, a very nice kind of execution of, of uh, the Bolalo here. Great pathing straight across the base after clearing out a whole ton of, of, of uh, defenses using just the kill squad. Uh, this is why I like these compact bases for Bolalo. It, it allows you to address a chunk, huge chunks of the base with the Kill Squad, which uh, it, it's just harder to do that when you have those more spread out bases. Um, he's going to lose this, this hound here. This hound is going to pop. It doesn't matter. So he's got a whole army of loons coming in behind it. And that is it. It is Tree Stars in the bag. Nice job, Big D McSmash. All right, so um, we have been doing an awful lot of air attacks lately, and we've actually had a lot of discussions about uh, what is the best type of strategy. Should we be focusing more on air, focusing more on ground? And I guess it really kind of depends on the person. But Savage has just been becoming savage with this Penta. And so you can see um, she likes to find bases that have a, a queen that's got easy access. She's outside there already. You can throw down a baby dragon or even two. That king kind of tanks. You've got a poison in there. Um, she's gonna get. She's gonna get the enemy queen. She's gonna get the CC. Um, that's all she really needs to get in order to finish this penta. Now this base in particular, I think sometimes people get uh, pretty hesitant about doing an air attack when those expos are on air. It doesn't even matter. Um, this base had great loon pathing. I mean, you can you can see uh, the the. The loons are just going to fly in this kind of very nice circle all the way around this base. Uh, unfortunately, lost a few loons there, but um, there we go. All right, so we're going to speed it up just a little bit. Um, and you see she just continues to feed in 
a hound, trying to keep two hounds on every uh, on every one of the air defenses, if at all possible. Uh, that last air defense has a has a heal for the final um, final bit there. Uh, usually we bring those heels just in case we run into a Tesla farm and we need to we need to do that. And I suppose it did actually cover two Teslas there. Uh, it doesn't matter. She just crushes this base. It is GG. Tree stars in the bag. Very very nice job, Savage. All right. Let's have a look at some hogs. So uh, this is something that I've been doing as well. Um, and it is a uh, queen walk with either a hobo or a uh, bolo. Um, I've been using uh, bowlers and and loons and and uh, skipping the the hounds actually and just going with a couple of golems. But um, Big Tex is coming in here with a queen walk. Um, queen is going to move along to the right side here. Uh, take out an air defense there, take out a couple of uh, Teslas, three Teslas, and then she's going to keep moving off to the right. Um, meanwhile, Kill Squad is going to come in here, um, push right through the center of this base. There we go. Rage is down. And there we go. I'm sorry, I said Rage is down. I meant Jump is down, but now Rage is down there for the um, bowlers. Uh, going to take out this... Uh, I don't think they get that other expo over there. Oh, no, they don't, because we're going to see some bacon here in just a little bit. Uh, starts bringing in hogs while these other uh, defenses are being tanked. Queen is still up and going. Unfortunately, that bow has switched over to the healers. And a couple of those healers will, will, will make it through that bow. Um, notice, though, his hogs have all clumped up right now. And this is a bad sign because you can see he drops a heal spell and he just misses the double giant bomb. And boom, all of those hogs gone. Uh, healers switch over uh, and keep these these two or three high. I think it's just two hogs there pounding away. Um, they wind up getting it, and there goes the last defense, and that is it. It is tree stars in the bag. Nice job. All right. Let's move down and let's have a look at Adam. So... Um, as I was saying, we've been having some discussions about what is the best way to, to tackle some of these bases. Uh, really, the best way to tackle a base is, is um, whatever uh, exploits the defense or the weaknesses of the base. And in this case, the weaknesses of the base actually tends to be the fact that it has such a compact center that it keeps a nice path right through there, and it allows for great velar pathing. So he's going to bring his queen here. Uh, another weakness winds up being the fact that these air defenses are sitting on the outside. That means a queen walk along the outside is able to knock out all of those air defenses, and that's uh, exactly what's going to happen here. You'll see. Um, at least I think that's what happens. So uh, CC has been pulled, and he is setting a funnel up here for the velar. And you'll see um, there is nothing there now to pull the king or anything else away. And so the queen is going to continue walking. And once she does, the, bol the BK, Valks, and Bowlers, they rip through that wall real quickly. Rage comes down. And he has not used a single rage on the kill squad, or I mean on the, on the queen for the queen walk. So all of the rages are going to get burned up on the actual uh, velar portion of this. Uh, that's great if you can do that and you can keep those um, healers underneath rage. Uh, right now they're still under rage, still under rage. He was able to heal through the center portion of that, that base. Now things get a little bit scary here, but uh, at this point, you know, there's only a couple of point defenses left. He's got a ton of Valks left and that is it. It is tree stars in the bag. Nice job, Adam. Still has not used that queen's ability. Pops it there just for the heck of it.
All right. Uh, we're going to look at one more here. Let's have a look at number 29. This was Ruta. And Ruta is coming with a P.E.K.K.A. Smash. Um, I'm showing this only because this, is, this attack is so, so finicky. You never know if those healers are going to stick with the P.E.K.K.A.s the way that they're supposed to. They don't here. He does a great job, actually, setting a, a very nice funnel. Uh, starts with the baby dragon up here. Um, brings the queen down here with the goal of bringing everything kind of together uh, right here. And you'll see there's some tessels that are going to pop right behind this wall here, or right in front of this wall. But uh, Queen is doing a great job. She's going to clear out uh, an archer tower and a wizard tower. Um, meanwhile, tessels pop, bowlers are in, Pekka's in, Queen is in, King is in, and Valks are in. And they're all under rage. And this, this raid is going very, very good at this point. Um, the major problem is all of these buildings up here along the edge that don't get cleared out during the funnel. And it becomes a problem because the bowlers sit up there and just focus on that instead of following through um, and, and taking care of the rest of the base. Now, the nice thing about the P.E.K.K.A. Smash is you'll, you'll see that all of the healers have now switched off of the P.E.K.K.A.s and off of the Valks and... and <laughs> For, for a second, they're just, just focusing on a, on a single archer. Um, the P.E.K.K.A.s, though, right here, still have a ton of health, and they're taking a huge, huge beating. Now, unfortunately, they're going to die. Um, they do make it through this wall. They kill that, and then, boom, gone. Uh, so uh, they've gotten a lot down, but unfortunately, the... That's, that's a huge amount of, of troop space that is just gone. And there's still, you know, four big point defenses left, um, a wizard tower, and these healers have decided to switch over to something that just doesn't matter. Finally, they come back to the queen. Uh, queen takes out this bow, and then she's going to switch and wind up taking out uh, one of these, you know, storages. Uh, king is going to bust through this wall here because I believe the wizards take out that... Oh, yeah, queen switches. Um, buses through the, bus through the wall, take out the town hall, um, come in, and... Yep, that is it. Tree stars in the bag. Nice job, Ruta. All right, so that is it. Uh, that was YOLO mode. It was a great war. Uh, these guys put up an awesome fight. Um, you can go and check them out if you want, who they are. You can find them... Uh, on YouTube at YOLO Mode. They are a mixed war clan, fair play. Uh, check them out. They're a great group of guys over there. This is Dr. D. Um, clash on.